because you know when I'm thinking about Easter, God has got and a record. It was not only recorded, but it also hit the news. And that's why I've got this newspaper here. Because you see, if you remember what I said about the groups of people that were there at that very first Easter, uh, that very first Passover, then there was the Sadducees, Sadducees and the Pharisees. There was the Roman, Roman soldiers. And there was the disciples of Jesus. And they all had an important thing to play as the whole story unfolded. But they all had a different reaction. Because that weekend it changed all their lives. You see, the Roman soldiers, they had a startling event. They were angry. And they were angry because never before had they lost a prisoner, let alone a dead one. And they were angry, and they even had to take a bribe. And you see, when they came away from that tomb, they had changed. Completely changed, because they were all upset. They'd been outdone. But the religious leaders, the scribes and Pharisees, they'd said, this imposter... And they were really sad because when they went down to look at the tomb, it was completely empty. And they came away totally depressed and sad that this Jesus was not an imposter, even though they continued to deny. And then the disciples, when they heard from one of the ladies that he wasn't in the tomb, he was alive. He'd risen again. Two of them had a race to get there. They were amazed at what they saw. Some on the road to Emmaus came rushing back to the city and said, we've met Jesus. And then suddenly he appeared in the midst and breathed on them. And from that moment on, their lives were transformed because Jesus was alive and alive forevermore. And you know today, some people still look into the story they look all the way through it. They think, is he really there? And the amazing thing is, is that he is. Because the record shows that he is the resurrection and the life. And no one can come to the Father except by him. Mm -hmm.